It's a sneak peek. What did Eve eat? Now, Papa. Shorts is what I wanted to talk about. Run. Welcome to the vlog. So I am giving you full blown I woke up like this energy. Okay, I still got spot treatment on my face. I ain't done a thing to my head. It needs to be brushed. The only people of course that are dressed for the day are the kids. So they're dressed and I need to go get ready. So much to update y'all on. And I didn't realize that because I haven't been oh. vlogging as consistently as I normally do because of our crazy schedule. So I've been sort of updating here and there on Instagram and sharing stuff. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, we're there every day on Instagram for the most part. Yeah. So if you want more consistent daily content, definitely head there. Um, a part of me would like... Hi. Can you tell him good morning? You got yogurt on your nose. You got yogurt on your nose. Got your nose. On your nose. Always. What you reading? Hmm. <coughs> so I don't think I've updated y'all on this little area here. I did make Daddy a. Daddy Is that a deer? Daddy tries. And flowers, yeah. Um, I made this little like education corner for the kids. I say kids, Ellis ain't old enough to use it, but um, I did do a whole little TikTok and a reel about the area. And yesterday I painted this little box that used to be in the den before we turned it into a playroom. So it's storing some books. And because Easter's coming up and it's spring, we have some spring. Can I see this book? Spring and Easter books. Look. So normally I have them out in the shelves in the playroom, but she can't reach those. Holidays going forward, I'll pick a th you know three or four holiday books and just some normal books and sit them here on her table so she can access them because she loves a book. Don't you? Is that a Bible? Jesus. Jesus. Where are we to read? All right. Okay. In a garden made by God, there lived a man and wife. God provided everything to live a happy life. But Eve ate God's forbidden fruit. What did Eve eat? What is that? Yeah, apple. Yes, and Adam copied Eve. So from God's perfect apple. garden, yes, apple. the two were forced to leave. Apple. And what is that? Is that a snake? Snake. Yeah. A peacock. A peacock? There's a peacock. A peacock. I'm sure Noah had a, a peacock, but there's no peacock a on the picture. A bird? Mm-hmm. A bird? Is that a monkey? A monkey! A bird! A rainbow. A rainbow! A sun! A sun, yes. Is that a... Bug? Yeah, it's a bug, but what kind of bug? A bug! A butter. A butter. <laughs> a butterfly. A bug. Hi. Yes. that skincare and the hairbrushing has all been um, taken care of <laughs> let's put some clothes on and this portion of today's video is going to be sponsored by our friends over at who thread up you know I love them I shop them constantly regardless if a video is sponsored or whatever I just love getting on there and finding the good deal so if you don't know what thread up is it is just ginormous and I and I don't say that lightly <laughs> there are so many things on thread ups website it's just like a huge online thrift store they have tons and tons of options and they're constantly updating like every hour um 
maybe not every hour but like really a whole lot <laughs> and they have women's and kids on there so not only do i shop for me but i shop for both mila and ellis on there um a lot of times i look for their stuff first i guess that's the mama in me that goes to see what they have for them first and then i get me some stuff um i've really looked up here lately i've gotten quite a few pairs of converses for both kids moccasins all kinds of really nice stuff but today we're going to focus on me i love shopping on the app because i feel like it's just like the most user friendly so for this little online shopping spree i wanted to focus on spring like moving into summer looks um we are on the coast of north carolina you know it does get hot pretty quickly here so we kind of sometimes skip spring and go straight into summer today's going to get almost up to 80 degrees so i can rock some shorts and i have some options some very good options so in case you never knew this about me i love shorts I live for shorts. They are what I wear constantly in the summertime. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of jeans, but jean shorts, I freaking love. American Eagle has to be my favorite for shorts. And I do go up a size in my shorts just to give me a little bit more room because y'all know I am curvy, especially down there. And they had so many. I was kind of shocked at all the options that they had um, in shorts. And if you know this about me, then you know. You know that you know that you know your girl loves some daggone overalls and they had overall shorts so i'm excited about those i hope all of this fits the way that i want it to oh my gosh i fell in love with this for the summer for the fourth with some cute denim shorts or you could even wear it over a bathing suit but we have different options today so i'm trying to figure out what i want to wear we have some athletic leisurey type of shorts and we also like i said have those denim so i'm going to try on both put some little looks together um i will say one thing i love about these kind of shorts is when they have shorts under them not those panty things i hate those i got too much room for all that um but we got a couple different oh, look i also got me a matching ones on there yes anyway let's do this i wouldn't necessarily wear these two together but i needed a top to put on to show y'all these shorts so i had to put on this top to show y'all the top too so i might as well just put it on together clearly this top is a carhartt top <laughs> and it still had the tags on it the estimated retail on this is 24 and i got it for 11.99 like i said i wouldn't necessarily pair it with this i mean there's nothing wrong with these two together honestly um but like if i'm going out to work in the garden or for going fishing or i just want to like cover up that, like with something that's not going to burn me up these are one of those like thin almost like a rash guard type top um if i wanted to wear this over a bathing suit i would have needed to go up another size i like these to be like super oversized when i wear them like over a bathing suit it would be so adorable with some converses and overalls now these shorts is what i wanted to talk about these are by the brand is it Kalia, the Carrie Underwood um, athletic brand? I've been wanting to try out some stuff, but I think their stuff's kind of pricey. So that's what I always love about Thread Up is going to find some stuff that I normally wouldn't spend the money on and like testing it out, you know, like thrifted. Um, I did get the extra large. Like I said, I like to go up a size in my shorts and glad that I did find an extra large in these. They fit great. They have those underlining like biker shorts, which I really love to keep, you know, everything from not rubbing together and just staying comfortable. The estimated retail on these are 30 and I think, yeah, $22.99 was what I paid for the thread up price. I cannot think of a more Paige Danielle outfit than this <laughs> because we have camo, neon pink, and overalls. It does not get any more perfect than this. Some of y'all might recognize this because I've worn it in some Instagram stories and a lot of y'all asked me where it was from and y'all were so disappointed when I said third up because I couldn't give you a direct link for it and I'm sorry. Not sorry at the same time because it's mine. <laughs> I was able to snatch it. So um, this is by a brand that I wouldn't normally even know who it is, but I shop at like a local boutique that we have. And I remember some of the brand names, you know, they're always random brand names in boutiques. But when I get on thread up, I go and I look in the tags of, of clothes that I've gotten from like local boutiques and see if there's some stuff from those brands. And I looked up. This is by Honey Me and I love it. It is great material. It's a really good length. I can wear it with leggings, which I have. Um, I think it's really cute paired with these overalls. I can wear it with shorts. Man, I just really, really love this. The estimated retail on this top is 30 and the thread up price was 14 
um, I just love it. I feel like I'm going to wear the freaking crap out of it this spring and summer. And then paired with these overalls, which I think fit perfectly. And they aren't, they're not snug by no means. But the thing I like about American Eagle shorts, especially like overalls, they do um, tend to loosen up as the day goes on. So right here where it's like, it's not snug, but it'll get looser as I wear it. Um, I'll break them in even more, which is why I like American Eagle for shorts. Not so much so more for pants. Yes, I still buy their pants, but their shorts are my favorite because I like them to be a little loose on my hips. Um, these are normally very expensive. I have bought American Eagle overalls and paid full price for them. So estimated retail on these are 80 and the thread up price was 38.99 and they're perfection. I will be wearing these on up until the fall. I think these are cute paired with cardigans and little sneakers too. So I'm gonna get every bit of my $38.99 worth out of these. And because April is Earth Month, also my birthday month. Yes, my birthday has already passed. Thank you all for the birthday, little. But it is Earth Month. And um, Thread Up, of course, falls right into that because you are, instead of out buying new stuff, you are giving old stuff new life. And most of the time, it's not even old stuff. But you know, it's used stuff or something that somebody no longer has a purpose for. One thing that I wanted to share with y'all, which y'all know I love me some coffee hot coffee, iced coffee, all the coffees. But did you know that by buying one, one used item instead of new, saves enough water to make an iced coffee every day for the next four years? That little piece of information just like blew my mind when I read that and I wanted to share it. If you have wanted to look on ThreadUp, definitely look. I'm telling you I've saved so much money. I've been able to find the kids so much stuff that I would have normally just paid regular price for, especially with kids y'all. They grow so fast. So why pay regular price for something? So not only are you getting it at a better deal most times, but you're also helping save the earth which is where we live and we should be taking better care of it. So let's celebrate Earth Month and get out there on Thread Up and see if you can find you some goodies, y'all. And when you do, use my code PAGE. It will save you 30% off of your first order along with free shipping. So make sure to use that. I will have more information down below in the description box along with the link for you to go and shop with my discount code and all that good stuff. Um, but I think I'm gonna wear this today. And I'm probably gonna pair it with my pink Converse's that I bought off of Thread Up. <laughs> How was your nail, Papa? Was it good? You're so pretty in that Carolina blue. What is it? That's a whale. It's a monster. A monster? Here's the wheel. Here's the wheel. Mm-hmm. The what? Dinosaur. There ain't no dinosaur in there. No, that's that's fish and whales. And squids. All right, we have got food, and we are we have headed out. We were going to get some local burgers, but there was seven people in line in that little place, and it was they were not moving. So we got Sonic. I did want to tell y'all about this drink that I always like to get. What was it? Cherry vanilla Coke with lime. That's it, right? It's so good. I only get it at Sonic. And then we got the toaster burgers, and Mila got some nuggets and fries, which she's about to kill out. Got to get back here with her. These are from Target. They're the little um, they're like organize, organizing bins from the new um, Bright something line. They're two books, but they makes eating in the vehicle so convenient. Should have got two more probably when I got them. I'll have to get some more. We got to our destination and the kids were napping and I was going to just keep riding around for a little bit. And then the keys, Cody sat here on the center console, slid hit. So needless to say they're both awake but they're both quiet. But we're at the archery place today for Cody to get his bow and arrow thing. I'm going to show you some clips when I go in there but I was letting the kids chill as long as they will be chill in the truck. There's nobody here but Cody and the owner. That's good. <laughs> but I'm going to have to use the bathroom because this was a pretty long drive and I sucked that um cherry lime whatever coke down so fast. I ain't had a, like a soda drink and I couldn't tell you when. That was very tasty. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that they've been quiet this long. They're both awake. And I'll say this because I've gotten questions. I know, not questions. I got somebody telling me to turn Mila around because she was two and she needs to be turned around. So I'll address it since, you know, 
her back's right here. Um, you know, kids, children's bones do not ossify until, I hope I'm saying that right, until they're five. Okay? And do you know if you were to get in a crash, God forbid, we ever, we ever got into a crash, but if we did... It is the best case scenario for her to be turned backwards because when she's turned forwards, her body, your body goes like this when you're forward. And those bones that have not hardened and ossified, pretty much hardening, I guess would be like the basic term, she would be, it would be a bad situation. Um, so we are going to leave. That's why these car seats have such high weights and height maxes turning rear faced. To give you the opportunity to leave your kids turn rear face for as long as humanly possible. So, and that's an important thing for me when I'm shopping for a car seat. Is to make sure that they can be rear faced for a long time. Also, when their legs are bent, that is not hurting them. They are not in pain. They are not uncomfortable. If anything, it's giving them somewhere for their legs to go. And when you turn them around, their legs are just dangling. And a lot of kids still end up putting them on the back of the front seats. Because they're uncomfortable. So, um, do your own research though, but we will not be turning her until she's at least four or five. So y'all can just leave us alone and let us keep our kids safe as we think is safe. Safe as possible as we think. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm, doing, what I'm trying to say? Anyway, I brought the bassinet, the Opa Baby bassinet. I'm going to put him in that. And Middle's just like sitting, y'all have seen her in other vlogs. She's just like sitting in the basket of the of the stroller we have the stroller piece but she really likes it in the bottom so i'm not even going to fold it i'm just going to let her sit and she's going to get out and rummage around <sighs> cody's asking if i'm coming in once i go in it's on and popping it is on and popping because mila's going to want to touch everything everything i haven't told y'all about my new business venture i opened up an etsy shop and i want to talk to y'all a little bit about that more when i get home um so i can actually show it to y'all on a computer and stuff um but i have worked so hard on that and i did the grand opening on my birthday and i wanted to share that here so i'll talk about that later but um anyway let me go ahead and get the car seat set up or the stroller set up i got the burps and head in <laughs> Go with daddy. Run. So since we're in the area, even though we was about out of the area, <laughs> um, one of my longtime followers, these were like, her and her sisters were the first people that were followers that I met out in public that like stopped me and asked for a picture and all of this years ago. Do you remember how long that it was? Probably like six, 2016, 2017. Um, we're coming up on it 0.4 miles. Uh, she opened, yes. Kayla opened a bakery. She actually made the cake that was at Ellis's baby shower. And um, she opened a cute little bakery and I remembered that it was near and I'm like, well, we're here. We just turn around and go. So I messaged her. She said she's got some stuff. Right past it. It's, in a, it's um, that building after these, I don't know. But I've been following along the whole process of like her showing like opening the bakery and doing all the cute stuff. It's that white building with the cute North Carolina state on the side. All right, we're gonna figure out how to get parked up in here. Probably could have parked right over here. Yeah, park right here. Gosh, it's so cute. This is freaking adorable. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cute. Look at the cute shirt. This is adorable. Look at the cakes. And pie bars, Reese's brownies. Look at all the cupcakes. I don't even know what I want. Look, the coffee menu. It is adorable in here. Look, it's her great grandma's wrist. That is adorable. <laughs> Yeah, just See, I was already, nobody, I had it quiet up here. Mm -hmm. I was getting all the behind the, behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, man. Right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me look. <laughs> the little cities and stuff in the shows, like Virgin River and um, Sweet Magnolias and all them little, that's what Rayford feels like. I don't know if it always feels like that, but this little street feels like that. All right, we have 
caramel latte. These cupcakes were soaked in espresso. Ooh. Strawberry shortcake. Samoas. Good. They smell good. Cookies and cream. And mm -hmm. she said I had to try this pecan bar. Give me a piece of that pecan bar, do you? Got two of them. Very nice, very nice. Darn it. I'm gonna make this before you get the mama. She ain't getting a pink one. Oh, that's good. Good job, Kayla. Oh, God, that's good. Reminds me of my pecan pie. <laughs> but better. With, with without the chocolate, without the chocolate chips. chips. Oh, man, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job, Kayla. Very OMG, nice. it's Very so nice. cute in there. It is so cute. I love seeing entrepreneurs, especially when they're young people, actually sitting out and making something of themselves, like with their own brand. I love it. I love it almost as much as I love that pecan bar. <laughs> I could eat that whole thing. Well, let's let's do that. <laughs> you <Save it>. huh? <laughs> save it. Break us a piece of one and you, I was going to cut them when we got the mama so we cannot make a mess. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I mean, that's a long ride from here. It is mama. not that long of a ride. Yeah, it's long enough. Okay. What's to watch? What to watch? What to watch? What to watch? What to watch? You want your juice? You tell me what you want to watch. You hungry, buddy? You wanna to try to eat something? Peanut butter pussy cheese! cheese. Good job! Yeah. Cheese and crackers! Oh, males, look at her! Look at us! What kind of books do you want? What kind of books do you want? I just asked you what kind of books do you want? Hey, What kind of boots do you want? Tell me, me, how I get them. Boots, yeah, what kind of boots do you want? So, how do I? What are you doing? Wait. Him <sighs> We are back home. I went ahead and washed, or me and Cody went ahead and washed the kids at Mama's. So that way when we got here, they went straight to bed. I did nurse Ellis one more time to make sure he was real good. He don't normally nurse it. It's 9.30. Doesn't, he's already asleep at this time. But since he, you know, he fell asleep on the way here, but then he woke up to watch Toy Story with Cece. <laughs> I was like, I'll just go ahead and feed him one more time. Make sure he's good to go. But... Some packages came over and gone. In case you didn't know, I freaking love Liquid IV. Not sponsored. Not sponsored at all. I love them. But I do get PR boxes and stuff from them. And I signed up for, which is not related to PR boxes or anything, but I signed up for, um, you, you, anybody can sign up for first alert ticks or whatever for like new flavors. So the last new flavor they come out with was Concord Grape and I'm just not about that life. They sent that to me, the Concord Grape when it came out. And I sent it with Cody to work. He drunk it, but I knew this was coming. I didn't know all of this was coming. Look at this, Mila is going to love this. She's really into like bags and stuff right now. Um, but I got a text message, oh my gosh. A disposable camera, look. I have not seen one of these since I was in middle school. Yeah, oh my gosh. Anyway, new flavor, cotton candy. I know I ain't going to know. Dermalogica? What? Hyaluronic ceramide mist? What? What? They put this in a PR box. Y'all know I love Dermalogica. Their pre cleanse and their daily macrofoliant are my numero unos. What? And then, okay, 
the whole thing behind this is the cotton candy. I think I might actually have one of these before I go to bed because I haven't drunk much water today. And if you know anything about liquid IVs, it like makes one bottle of water like three. I'm trying to see if it tells me exactly. Two to two and a half times faster hydration than just water by itself. You get three times the electrolytes, five essential vitamins. You get B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. And of course it has a great taste depending on you know which flavors you get. I'm about to make me some water. I'm gonna finish this vlog in the morning because there is some more stuff like I said I wanted to show y'all. Oh, and I did get a Target. Let me show y'all that too. But my Etsy shop, I wanted to show you a little bit of that. And of course I was gonna save it to the end here. But let's open this Target box because I think it was some of the Stony Clover Target stuff that I ordered. I grabbed a pair of the Birkenstock lookalikes. They're pink and they have the pink buckle, I'm not the pink, the heart shaped buckle. They had tie dye, but I really wanted this pink and they were only $10. Plus, I needed 10 more dollars to get free shipping on this order. I placed two different orders. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning when the sale went live. I just had to be up with Ellis, but I had already set my alarm anyway. I was getting up because I wanted to get me a little bag and some patches. Let's pray we can wear these. Oh, perfect. Oh, and it feels so good. I got my normal. I'm an eight and a half, and I bought an eight, and they're perfect. I was worried I needed a nine, but they're perfect. I freaking love them. And I'm gonna give Ellis his passy to try to help him go to sleep. Hey y'all, happy next day. So I was gonna actually take y'all with us out to eat for breakfast this morning, but y'all with kids and y'all with multiple kids, you know the struggle of getting out of the house. So me trying to remember to grab my camera was not happening this morning so but we did go and eat breakfast and then we went to one of our favorite um little shops locally and i shared it over on instagram it's called callahan's and they have so much stuff i got me a bog bag i've been wanting one of them um we do live at the beach we don't go to the beach all that often mainly because it's so packed it is so packed during because everybody's here you know and that's when you actually want to go when it's hot but that's when everybody's here so it just make it hard but I'll be able to use this bag like at the park or when we just go outside if I need to tote a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's literally like a crock in a bag. That's pretty much the best way to explain it. You can just rinse it out, I can hose it out, and I can put all these like accessory stuff on it. It's just really neat. So I got me one of those. Cody got him a new Yeti. Y'all remember the Yeti that I got? He got him one. And then I got to see the new pink color. It's like a neon, it's literally the color of my socks. It's not showing up true, but it's like a true neon hot pink. I love it. I want a cup in that color. Cody said I could get one if I got rid of a cup that I already have. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do that. Um, and he got some new like water boot, boat shoe something. And then um, they actually recognized us. What? They're called your boat shoes. They're extra tough boat shoes. Extra tough boat shoes. <laughs> they actually recognized us. Oh, I was about to say, who is that? It's Rosie on the porch. Uh, hey, Rosie. Oh, she sees the lizards. I've been sitting here looking out this window and watching the lizards on our patio set. I'm just like, I can't even live. I can't even go outside. Now that I got to see him crawling in these chairs, I know I ain't sitting in them chairs. <laughs> anyway, but they recognized us from Instagram um and come up to us to introduce herself because i've tagged them because we go there like i've took pictures of mila there and i bought stuff and tagged them in it and they recognized us and they took mila on a little shopping spree y'all i was shook okay shook took her on a little shopping spree let her pick out whatever she wanted um we got ellis a little teether she got a mermaid uh, a necklace a bracelet a headband homegirl i was like <laughs> what are you doing but it was so cool they took a picture of us it was the neatest thing um so that was really nice but like as i promised i wanted to show y'all my etsy shop so i'm gonna pull out my computer i'm gonna do a little screen grab here so y'all can see it okay guys so here is print design in all her glory uh like i said i've been working on this behind the scenes and i am just so excited to be sharing this with y'all today um oh wow look people have the stuff in their car <laughs> Uh, okay, this, I obviously didn't, that's like a new thing of me seeing it. So let me show y'all what all we got. Um, 
There's my cute little logo and stuff we got going on up here. Um, let's go in order of sections. So we have YouTube channel kits, which I am very excited about. I put a lot of thought process into these. I'm actually working on a new one, which I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of. Um, so we have six different kits right now. Like I said, I'm always working on adding some things. Um, and what comes in these kits, here's what's included. You'll get a PDF file. So this is gonna give you all the links of everything that you have gotten in your kit. And what comes in that kit is gonna be a YouTube channel banner, four thumbnail templates, an animated intro template, an animated outro one, and also a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Canva. It's very user-friendly. Um, and what makes it even better is you can use the free version of Canva. Everything that I have picked out, you'll be able to use the free version. I have made it. There might be a time in the future where I end up picking some Canva Pro things to include. As of right now, everything that you see on everything that's on my shop is in the free version. So you don't have to spend any money besides you buying these kits. And right now my kits are $15.99. You're gonna get all of that. And everything is super cohesive, very on brand. You'll be able to tell what you can change out. Obviously you'll be able to change out the channel name, the photographs that are on there, as well as like the thumbnail art. You'll be able to pop in your own picture. So if you're doing, you know, your cleaning routine, pop in a picture of you cleaning, change out the title on the thumbnail to make it cleaning routine weekend edition, whatever it is. Um, but I love this kit. This is called my family kit. And obviously you don't have to be a family channel to have it, but it just made me think of family because it was warm and inviting. Another kit, I think this one is one of my other favorites and I call this my pink glam kit. Obviously once again, you don't have to have like a beauty channel. It does have like a, a lipstick makeup bag background but that's it's such an abstract art you, you can't really tell that's what it is I guess I know that's what it is because that's what I had in mind when I made it um I absolutely love the intro and the outro on this and like I said you pop in your picture change out the font it's super user friendly and then um, obviously like I show you on each of the postings what you're able to change. So if you don't want that pink background, you can change it to whatever color. Um, obviously I like that black, so I'm just showing you just a different option. So you have all of those different kits to choose from. We also have thumbnail bundles. So if you already have you know, your art for your channel and you got your own thing going on, but you want to make your life a little bit easier with the thumbnail art, I know a lot of times um, I get a lot of compliments and questions about my thumbnails. So I tried to pick my most popular styles and what I know does well on YouTube. Um, and I put those together. So you can go in and change the colors of these as well as the font if it's not your, you know, your cup of tea. But what makes it so good is that you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because I put all the thought process and all the work into it. Um, and you're gonna get 10. So these are $9.99, you're gonna get 10 different ones. And all you gotta do is pop your picture in and change the text. Now if you wanna be extra and go in, and of course like I said, change the, the font style, the colors, you can do all of that too. You can totally do all of that. Uh, but these 10 that are in each different kit are all cohesive with each other. So if you don't want to use that same one all the time, but you want them to still look good and like they are from a family of thumbnails, um, then that's when you go ahead and you get one of these kits. Everything's gonna be super cohesive. If you just put up a video and you would like to include three photos, then go and look at your templates and figure out which one uh, which one you could pop three photos in. If you got one that's got four, you know, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I also have a collage set, which I really like. So everything in it, all the templates in this one are different collage versions. And I think those do extremely well on YouTube. So this is gonna give you just different options to do. And then what I'm getting ready to start making more of are like grad announcements. So not just a grad party, which I do wanna make a few more graduation party invitations, but I wanna do grad announcements. Cody, I wanna do grad announcements. Um, because I know that's a thing, especially because of COVID and everything and people necessarily didn't, couldn't have graduation parties and I know people are starting to do more now. But still, people wanna do like a grad announcement and you get to show off some of those pretty senior pictures that your babies took um, and just kinda like send out, it's kinda like a Christmas card, but like graduation 
version. So I'm gonna have some of those. And I'm also sharing on there, of course, what can be changed so if you want to change out some stuff on it and on each invitation listing I have a little black box showing exactly everything that you'll be able to change because some of them you cannot change everything on it because they are super custom and I made them so you're not gonna be able to change them for instance this is one of the little boy invitations that I did and this doesn't have to be for a little boy if you have a little girl that you want to do baseball for by all means you can do a little girl and on here you can see the little black boxes are what you'll be able to change. So this one's not as custom for you. You'll be able to change out the name and the information at the bottom. And then of course I show you on this one how it would look if you change some stuff out. So that's for a boy. And then here I'll just grab a little girl one so you can see what the different ones look like. Um, this Encanto one is one of my best sellers right now. And I know why Encanto is very popular, which is why I wanted to do one. We love it here in this house, so I knew it would do well. And I love this one because it's more so Isabella themed because it's got the floral. So if you're gonna do more of that florally vibe for an Encanto party, definitely go this route. Um, this one is another one that you can just change out the text. The flowers and stuff cannot be changed and I make that very clear on all the posts what can be changed or not so you're not led in a wrong direction thinking that you can change something that you can't. So that's how that can be changed and everything is organized so you're able to go on here and find whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, of course moving forward I will be making a lot more designs to go on here so you guys can see what I got going on in the future. But if there's a specific thing you would like to see, um, comment down below in the, not in the description box, comment it down below in the comment that I can see what you guys would like to see here in the shop. I know I asked on Instagram the other day and the number one thing that was requested was Instagram branding kits. So I don't have any of that on here yet, but it would kind of be the same concept as my YouTube kits. Uh, so if that's something that you'd be interested in, definitely let me know so that I can kind of keep an ongoing track of what will sell really well, what people are looking for. As of right now, what has sold the best are my YouTube kits. So uh, yes, if you wanna see some more of those, like I said, here is a sneak peek of my newest kit that I'm working on. And this is called the Glitter Glam Kit. And I freaking love it. It is sassy. It's got a little bit of grunge to it, but it's got that really feminine, fun, spunky, like glittery side to it. I love this kit. Um, I love the other pieces that I got going along with it. So if you like this, go check out my store because by the time this video goes up, it will be live in my Etsy shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting an insider view on what I got going on in my shop. I'm gonna get a jump start on editing this vlog so that you guys can get it ASAP. And again, thank you ThreadUp for sponsoring part of today's video. We love the people over at ThreadUp. We love ThreadUp. We live for a ThreadUp moment. All the thrifted things. Y'all get out and do something for Earth Month. And if you can't get out and do something for Earth Month, then go buy something off of ThreadUp because that's technically for Earth Month because you are, instead of buying new, you're buying used and that's important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to leave me a comment down below if you want to see something new in my Etsy shop. If there was something that I didn't get to or answer or any questions that you got, or if I missed a link in the description box, y'all let me know down below in the comments. I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So, we hope that you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Cody, would you come and say bye to the fam? You want me to say bye? With your faded shirt. I look, well, yes, faded a hot mess. Because of the fire. We didn't tell them, man, we hadn't told the YouTube family about the fire. There's a lot of stuff we gotta tell y'all. We need to sit down and do a Q&A. If y'all wanna see us do a Q&A here in the near future, also comment that down below. Okay, faded shirt boy. Look at him. Left it out in the sun, trying to get the smoke out of it and faded one of his new good shirts. Yep, this big streak. Why did you have a new good shirt on outside fighting fire anyway? I weren't fighting fire in this. I just happened to walk out there and it got smoky smelling, so I left it hanging out outside. Y'all know how I got rid of the smoky smell? Lots of vinegar and baking soda. Anyway, we hope you'll have a good weekend. Peace out. Adios. Bye.